guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another one brand tutorial as you probably already saw from the title this is urban decay that we are doing today i'm so happy to hear you guys are enjoying all of these one brand tutorials it's definitely a really good way to get to know you know some products from different brands that you know you might not necessarily reach for or that you didn't know about I'm certainly discovering a lot of new things. So yeah, I've got a bunch of Urban Decay makeup here in front of me. Some of them are holy grails. Some of these are products that I have never tried before. So yeah, if you are interested in seeing me do a full face of makeup using only the brand Urban Decay, then please keep on watching. So first up to prep the skin, I have got the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Oh my gosh, that is a mouthful. So this is a skin balancing priming spray that's meant to even skin tone and absorb oil. Um, have you met my oily skin? Oh, we're about to find out. Oh yeah, it says it absorbs oil and reduces shine for all skin types. Packaging's cute. It's like really fluoro. Oh, it's got two lids. All right. I always have to test these spray thingies before I spray them because sometimes I'll shoot you in the eye and you'll like, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, it actually smells really good. So I'm going to spray this on my face. It feels very light. It just kind of feels like water on the skin. So I'm guessing in that sense, it's not going to do me any favors as far as helping um, blur like my enlarged pores and fine lines and things like that because there's no texture to it. Okay, next up for foundation and I'm of course using this one. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I am freaking obsessed with this stuff. This is one of my holy grail foundations. The coverage is amazing. The lasting power is amazing. As you guys know, I've got super oily skin. It lasts all day on me. I can love this stuff. Also makes your skin look really, really nice, which I'm never going to complain about. Just using a damp sponge to apply this. It's my favorite way to apply it. It really pushes it in. You know, it, it blurs those pores and it just has your skin looking as perfect as it possibly can. The one thing that I will say about this foundation, guys, is it does actually oxidize or dry down quite a bit. So if you are testing it in store, and that's how I even discovered it because I swatched it on my hand. I was actually in the States. I was in an Ulta store. I swatched it on my hand um, and then I was walking around the shop, you know, buying other things. Anyway, like 20 minutes later, I looked down at my hand and I was like, oh my gosh, that shade is not going to match me. It's so much darker. So go like one to two shades lighter than you think and go into the store, swatch it, you know, on the side of your face, on the side of your neck, walk around for a little while before actually, you know, choosing a shade. Because yeah, the color that it is when you initially apply it is not the same as the color it will be, you know, after it's dried down. All right, moving on to brows. And fortunately, I do not own any Urban Decay brow products. I know that they do have them. I'm sorry, guys. But instead, I'm going to show you how you can use um, some of their eyeshadow palettes in a more versatile way so that you can actually come up with brows without having any brow products. So I'm going to be using some of the shadows from the Urban Decay Original Naked and the Naked 2 palettes to fill in my brows. I might even use some of the... Um, Naked Skin Shapeshifter palette. I feel like we can make this work. So I'm using the deepest contour powder shade in the Naked Skin Shapeshifter palette. Um, just on a little flat brush and I'm using it to fill in my brows. And I might use a little of the black shadow from the Naked 2 palette as well. But yeah, you were all requesting this video and I didn't have any brow products and I really wanted to get it up for you, so I'm sorry. I do think this is a good way though to show you guys it's easy to multitask with certain products and you know, even if you go, you know, like traveling and you're like, oh my God, I forgot my brow products. There's always going to be a way to make it work. Okay, so brows are done. I'm moving on to the eyes now and I'm so excited for this eyeshadow palette. But I'll try and calm down. First up, we're going to prime the eyes and we're going to be using the Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This was like, I remember when I first, you know, really started getting into makeup. Literally, this is... All everybody was ever obsessed with it was the, like the most popular eyeshadow primer. It does come with a little spoolie wand, which is great. Oh my god, look at all of that foundation in my crease. Gross. So I'm going to apply it directly to my lids. Now this is more of like a silicon type based primer. It does make the lids feel quite smooth, but it is not going to give you like a full coverage look. It's a little bit tinted, but it's not... You know, it's it's not a MAC paint pot, basically. Is it my favorite eyeshadow primer? No, but do I like it? Yes. Okay, moving on to eyeshadows. I'm so excited. We're going to be using the brand new Back Talk Face, oh, Eye and Face Palette. Um, I believe that this is Urban Decay's newest release. It's freaking gorgeous. And it's basically all entirely inspired by one of their lipsticks, their best-selling um, Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the color Back Talk, which is like a beautiful pink, and we're going to use that today as well. 
the palette, you guys. Wait till you see this, you'll die. Now, I have opened her and looked at her, but I haven't actually used it. But this is the packaging. It's just so pretty all on its own. It's just, oh, beautiful. Now, you open it up, and there is a mirror in the middle, which is interesting. And it is actually a removable mirror. See this? It's like a little double-sided mirror that you actually remove from the inside of the palette. And then this is the palette. Look at those beautiful pink colors and all of the blush shades. I just think that this is what dreams are made of, honestly. I'm so excited to finally be using this. It's gorgeous. Okay, first up, I'm taking this matte shade here. This is three sheets. It's like a pinky bone. This is a matte. And I'm just gonna use that to set down that eyeshadow primer. The primer potion does stay a little matte, which is no good for oily lids. If you're like me, set that down, my friends. I'm gonna go, oh, one of the shades is WTF. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go into Back Talk. Now this is the shade that's the same as the lipstick it's like a beautiful pink and I'm picking that up on the same brush I'm gonna work that through the crease oh my god I'm in love already that color is so pretty so I'm really smoking this out I'm not being too precise with it I'm also dragging it out the side of my eye I want to go like a really soft pink look today this will be one of those times where I say that and I literally get the opposite I bet you any money. Okay, on a smaller brush, I'm going to pick up the shade WTF, which is this sort of, it's like a warm tone matte brown. And I'm going to work that one sort of in the outer V kind of crease area just to add a little bit of a shadow to the eye. Oh, this palette is nice. They're all blending really well. Like I'm not having any issues. I'm not having large amounts of fallout. So I'm working that one towards the inner corner as well, just deepening up that socket area. Helps your eyes look a lot better if you've got hooded eyes or almond shaped eyes. I'm um, having a really nice sort of dark socket that's kind of a little bit above your natural crease will really, really help. Actually, let me know, guys, are you interested in seeing like a hooded eye specific eye makeup tutorial? Gosh, I couldn't talk properly then. Um, let me know if you're interested though, because I'll definitely do it. All right, on a small brush, I'm picking up this one here. This is shade. This is like a medium... I wouldn't call it a shimmer, it's more of like a satin, but it's a beautiful pinky purple color. I'm going to pack that onto the outer corner of my lid. Which I think I might switch to a bigger brush. I love using that little brush, but it definitely takes longer. <laughs> this shadow that I'm using doesn't have as much pigmentation as the other ones. But I love the color, so I'm not over the top mad about it. Also going to pack that one on the inner corner. And do a bit of like a... A spot one situation. Okay, I'm picking up more of that color on the same blending brush that I used earlier and I'm just going to sort of softly go through the crease and kind of join them together. Okay moving on to the center of the lid I'm going to use this gorgeous coppery metallic shade here called Attitude and I'm going to pick that one up on my finger. Oh, look at that. And I'm going to pack that right in the middle of my eyes and what we probably will do here is even do like a little bit of an ombre. Oh my gosh, that color's so nice. It's not like crazy over the top shimmer, but it's really pretty and subtle. Then to finish the eye, I'm taking Curve, this pretty shimmery pink. And I'm gonna pat that right in the center of the lid. And it creates like a bit of a gradient effect. It doesn't usually stand out the most until you've got eyeliner and you know mascara and things on. But um, yeah, it gives like a really pretty like 3D effect to your eyes. All right, for eyeliner, I am using the 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the color Zero, which is like a beautiful black. This is a really, really creamy cold pencil and I'm just gonna be tight lining and then smudging it in with a brush. I might also do um, underneath my lashes as well. Okay, now I'm just taking that little eyeshadow brush from earlier and I'm just sort of smudging that line a bit. All right, for mascara, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Again, I believe that this is their absolute best-selling mascara. I've never tried it. Um, it's meant to be really, really smudge-proof, um, long-lasting, and just give you really huge lashes. So we will see. Oh, the packaging is so nice. Oh, I do like the look of the brush, too. Oh, I do like how that's looking. It definitely gives you lots of volume. I've got the worst eyelashes though, we all know that. I'll definitely be letting you guys know if it smudges. Yeah, pretty good, not bad at all. All right, I'm gonna finish this up off camera, pop some lashes on, and then we'll be back to continue on the face. All right, so eyes are done, and so far I am loving how they are looking. 
everything berry. Everything berry. Moving back onto the skin, I'm gonna pop some conceal on, we're gonna set, we're gonna contour, all of that good stuff. Now another holy grail product of mine out of all brands, again from Urban Decay, is the All Nighter Concealer. This is obviously the sister to the foundation. They're like little twins, they're so cute, but this stuff, oh my gosh, it's so long lasting, it's so crease proof, it's smoothing on the skin, it's such high coverage, I freaking love it. So I'm gonna apply this underneath my eyes. Does dry down very, very quick though. I would recommend working on one side at a time. It's an incredible concealer. If you're after a concealer that will actually last all day long, if you're after a concealer that will cover up everything, this is one to go for. I did do a full review on it actually, so if you're interested in seeing that, I will link it down below. All right, moving on to powder. I'm gonna set everything down with the Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder. This is another product that I did a full review on. It's a pretty cool powder because you can actually mix it into your foundation to increase the coverage and wear time of your foundation and also make it more matte, but I also love it as a setting powder. It's gorgeous. It's extremely, extremely finely milled, and I just use it on a sponge the same way that I use most powders, and I press it into the skin. In. And you'll see as I do this that all of a sudden the texture on this side of my face completely gone. It blurs everything out so so well. Like look how much smoother that looks and it feels actually like velvet. You can definitely say it does last very well during the day. It lasts on oily skin, it keeps me matte. It's good. All right, moving on to contouring. I'm gonna use the uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. This is another really cool double-sided palette. So on one side you have powder contours, a correcting shade and a highlight, and then on the other side, you got all cream versions. Now I've obviously powdered, um, so I'm not gonna be using the creams, but we are gonna use the powders. I'm gonna be mixing both of the darker shades to contour. I've used this palette in videos before. You guys know I'm a big fan of it. Really versatile, easy to work with, easy to blend. The creams actually do last really well on oily skin as well. <sighs> Just can't with these berry eyes. I love everything berry. Everything. Okay, bringing it up through my hairline. Gosh, I've got so much baby hair. Can anybody help me with this? me. I don't, I really don't want to shave it or anything because I just, I don't like the idea of having spikiness along my hairline, but like it helped me style it. How do I get it to behave? It's so annoying. It's funny. It's so much worse on this side too. Can anyone else feel my pain? Does anyone else's hair do this? Surely someone else's does, surely. <laughs> okay, for cheeks, I'm going back into the Back Talk palette and I'm really liking the look of this one here. It does have highlight shades as well, but for blush, I think this one, and I feel like it's going to match the eyes and the lips and just tie everything together really well. Like a really pretty soft pink. Ooh, it's nice. It's actually lighter on my skin than I originally thought. Thought. So you know what? I'm gonna grab this instead. This is the Urban Decay Afterglow Blush in the color Score. It's one of my most loved and most used blushes. It's really, really pretty. I use this all the time. And I might just try a bit of that. That pinky one was showing a little light on my skin tone. These Afterglow blushes are cool because they're actually eight hour formulas. So they're really, really long lasting. Great on oily skin again, like that would definitely last you all day long. All right, next up for highlight, I wanted to try this one out. This is the Afterglow palette. I do think these come in different shades. Maybe they don't. It's a highlighting palette. Um, very, very pretty. Again, I've used this in videos before. Beautiful. Um, I love that they come with like a bunch of different colors in them. So there's always gonna be something for everyone in there. Okay, I'm picking up Peroxide, which is the duochrome pinky color. It's so pretty on the skin. Now, Urban Decay highlighters, I personally find they're not like over the top crazy. They create more of like a real subtle glow. Um, so for those of you who are a little bit scared of highlighter, which actually isn't that uncommon, um, you'll love these. They're sort of more understated. I think highlighters, please. Give to me. Give to me. I'm going to pop a little of that on my inner corners as well. Maybe even the center of my eye. Oh my God, yes. This is literally like a pink on pink look. I'm in love. And then finally to finish everything off, the Back Talk lipstick. I'm so excited to try this. So um, basically it's their best selling, most popular. Everybody always, it's sold out. Like just everybody goes crazy over it. So I'm really excited to try it. I love their um, Vice Lipstick formula. I do own a bunch of them, love them. Um, my favorite shade is Liar. Really, really nice muted nude, of course. Hello, Nakia. Will you ever change? Probably not. <laughs> but this is going to really match my 
eyes and everything. We hope. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see why the entire world is obsessed with this colour. It is beautiful. Oh, my God, and the formula is amazing. It's a matte, but it's comfortable and creamy. Okay, I feel like you're going to be seeing a lot more of this. It's so pretty. I totally understand why this is their best-selling shade. It's gorgeous. And then finally, we're going to finish everything off, set it all down with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Again, probably the brand's maybe best seller. I'm not sure, but I know that everybody's obsessed with this setting spray. So I'm going to apply it over the top of everything. So there you have it guys, this is the finished look. I love how everything turned out. I love looks that are like matching eyes, matching cheeks, matching lips. I'm just all about that. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Thank you to those of you who did request a full face of Urban Decay products. I'm a big supporter of the brand. I've loved their products for a really, really long time. I think that they're really, really good quality and they're pretty well available in every country, which is awesome. But yes, give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe as always and let me know in the comments what you your favorite Urban Decay product is and also which brand you want to see a full face tutorial like one brand video on next. I would love to know what you guys want to see. This lipstick, you need to go and buy this lipstick. I cannot stop staring at it. It's so pretty. All right. I love you guys so, so much and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.